They gonna love me for my ambition. Over the weekend, me and Marlon reacted to a brand new single by SZA. Shout out to everyone that watched no. the reaction. 20,000 views. SZA and Drake, Slime You Out. So we'll talk about that first before the pushing back of the album. How do you feel about the single now that days have passed? Have you played it more? Yeah, I've, I've played it more. I've played it more. I still think that the first Drake verse is weak as fuck um, and unnecessary. <laughs> I love SZA. I love you, baby. SZA okay. Um, yeah, she did, bro. I like the second part. It just it just sounds better. I, it's not like Drake's rapping his fucking life away, but it sounds better. You know what I'm saying? He has some bars, though. I, yeah, he does. People, people, he people does, are pulling him up now. The, the, which bar was it? In July, that's when I found out you lie. The, the 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 bar is like the about the P making M's and then uh, oh the W M M, M and W like the like life is like a bathroom because that's how we differentiate bathrooms M for men woman and male you know what I'm saying so he has some clever ass bars that first verse is weak though in my opinion um and apparently apparently this song is like describing like a relationship that he had with somebody. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Like someone in the past. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past him. I really want to... This is the bar right here, though. All I really know is W and M's, life looking like a bathroom. Mm -hmm. W's wins and M's millions of dollars. Yeah. Life looking like a bathroom. Women, men, Men, bathroom. W. That's that's a good-ass bar. That's a bar, And on top of that, Mm Port-A-Potties, WM by Waste Management, the company. That's a bar. Then he said, all I really know is M bags. Like I drove through and ordered fast food. McDonald's. McDonald's. Right? That's what came to mind for me. You know, McDonald's and then M bags, like um, bags of money, bags of millions of dollars, you know, you know, or bags worth millions of dollars because Drake does have a Birkin bag collection. collection. Yeah. You know, he's like the only rapper in the world with the Birkin bag collection. I know. Because he's Drake, you know. Um, But yeah, he had a lot of, ba- a lot of bars on this, like that yeah. randomly, you know. Yeah. And but my thing with Drake, he loves rapping about killing people, but having someone pay for them to be killed. He said it here so smoothly, and it's almost like you can't catch it because it's so soft of a song at the end. But he's like, it's like a rough line. Like he said, get a nigga hit for fifty racks, girl. The beef costs like it's wagyu. Get a nigga hit. I'll make his ass see the light, like a half moon. Like he's literally talking about paying for a hit job. Yeah. To murder someone. Yeah, and it's not the first who time the he's done that. Who the fuck are you murdering? It's not the first time that he's done that. Is it? Does he's, not say who we think more, it was. He, he, be, he be talking about... I forgot what he said, but he's like, my people can't say the same thing. Like, like... Yeah, like his people like, have seen yeah, bodies like, like kill Dunch people, but not him. And, yeah, like, you know... But why is he doing this? Do you think boy, he's trying to be tough? His boy Chubbs, well, you know, this, this, and that, blah, blah. Yeah. Do you think it's him trying to be tough, or is it just him just saying shit because he's a rapper? It's like This is like a rap bar, rap line... It's or some, is it, like, realistic? Sh- it's some rapper shit. I don't know if he would kill someone. I still don't think he's... I still don't. And it's like, why would you need to kill someone? You're Drake, but then and, you and also you get a did, lot of hate. if you did do shit like that, you wouldn't talk about it. You wouldn't talk about it. But that. you can get away with talking about it, I guess, through art. You can, but if you're smart, bro, if you're a real-ass mother... This is the way that I view it. If you a real street motherfucker, bro, you don't speak upon these things, bro. At all. You don't. You don't. You just move silently. People know you a real motherfucker because it just the the actions speak enough. You're not you're not boasting. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It, it, you don't do none of that. That's very true. That's very true. But then we have the new um, post right here, the update where Drake literally pushes the album back. You know, officially back. You think he had a son write that? This one as well? I don't think so. But I do think it's it's fascinating how. He's he playing has, on. He has third. his own uh, his own font. Drake created his own font for this album now, which is pretty cool. Last time we saw this was, if you're reading this, it's too late. That's yeah. the last time Drake created his own font for yeah. any album rollout, right? Yep. This is pretty cool, artistic. You usually see this with like a Travis Scott or someone like a more of a artistic level. Man, I'm starting to believe his kid didn't even draw that shit. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Might have been him. He says, Drake reads right here, okay, my dilemma I am faced with is... Either cancel shows to finish the album or I complete the mission and drop the album before the last show. I owe you all these memories. We are building and anywhere we have missed to date, we will be spinning back for sure. For all the dogs, October 6th, it's only right. He posted this on his story. You didn't come to Rhode Island. 
You know, come around, you better circle back, come back out here. Dates that he's missed, that he missed any dates? Maybe he rescheduled a date? Maybe two. I'm not familiar with any. Something must have happened. Um, But, yeah, October 6th. He's October's very own. October's very own. <laughs> Isn't his birthday thing in October? I think so. Imagine it was October 6th, too. I don't think so. Like people would have said that. The six, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, you know, where he's from is the six. You know? Yeah. Hey, Siri, when's Drake's birthday? Oh, no. I almost hit up Drake, the Veronica. Hey, Siri. Who? When is Drake's birthday? 36G. Oh. <laughs> it's not working. This goddamn Siri. Let me just look up Drake's you, birthday. Right Jesus Christ, you, Siri. God damn. He's 36 years old, October 24th. Okay. Okay, so his birthday is in October. Listen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's October 30th. Drake can push the album back to 2020-25. We're still going to wait. He could push yeah. the album back a thousand years. We're still going to wait. You're going to wait The anticipation for that. is only getting bigger and bigger. So I think he's smart. The single, though... I think it's a decent song. The more I play it, I like it, especially the yeah. SZA and the end of the song. He's going to have to give us another single. Though. Yeah, this is not a single type of song. This no. gives me like... Interlude, like you interlude, said. Interlude, perfect interlude. Why, though? Right? And now, it might be number one in the country. Now, now we got to see. Because the gotta... controversy with Halle Berry. They going to let me for my ambition. 